15th of May 2018. Only a couple of days until the royal wedding. And already there's a commotion going on because the bride's father has pulled out. He's not going to give her away because he feels to him that he'll embarrass her and the royal family. Well, he's embarrassing her more by doing what he's done. To be quite honest, he obviously hasn't got the stiff upper lip. I'm not, I'm not condoning that, by the way, but he's insulted her by pulling out, unless it's a deliberate thing, let's think of the conspiracy theory. Her mother is um, African-American. Do they really, and women have given their daughters away, do they um, want to have her mother so it's a bit more race mixed? I just wondered, really, if that was the plan, really. But, of course, it's made such a commotion now. But it'll make it easier for her mother to have to give her away. That's what I think. Look at these beautiful views, everyone. <sighs> Lovely, isn't it? All the flowers are out. I need to find out what they're all called. I remember them, I forget. These will be um, pinky type flowers. The blossom on the trees, the bluebells in the wood, all the leaves coming out on the trees, the beautiful Mendip Hills. And for me, as far as the vehicles go, it's a stone throw away from where I live, really. I mean, I have to get a bus, short distance, but half an hour journey, maybe a bit more if the traffic's bad. And then I'm there. I mean, I can drop off at Sanford to go up on the Mendips. I can go to Winscombe like I am now. <coughs> or I can go on to Cheddar also known as a gateway. Now, I don't know how to get out here. I've got a feeling there's a stile straight across. I think I can see a red arrow. But we just got up here for a minute. But I think there's a stile over there. I'm never really quite sure where I... I've done it once or twice, you see this way and then I always forget so uh, that's why I'm doing it today because I've forgotten hopefully it might be signposted it's not always signposted for me to get up on the hills there <sighs> it looks like there's been sheep in here not long ago I think there might be a path directly opposite that I have to go up. Yes, because sometimes I go that way across the fields there. So anyway, that's the bit of news. <coughs> it's always handy to have a bit of news when I'm doing the video diary because it's a reference point, really, to what was happening around about that time. Otherwise, we don't... Uh, refer to anything. This video could be placed anywhere, basically, couldn't it? Because this scene ain't going to change much. I expect in 20 years' time it would be very much the same. Whereas if you add a little bit of history, it uh, and that allows people to think, oh, what was I doing that year? I know I've come down this way. What it is, this takes you up to, up onto the Waverley Down. And you cut out the wood bit. I do like doing the wood bit, by the way. I might end up doing it later if I decide to not do the all the way to Weston. It might be too much today. Because I'm not 100%. I haven't been 100% since October. Well, that's another story. I've got plenty of water, but we are going to do St Andrew's Church, and we are going to do Crook's Peak, and then we will decide. When I'm on Crook's Peak, I will then decide whether to come back to Winscombe and get the bus, 
or walk back to Weston. I've, got, I've done this before. I haven't always gone all the way to uh, to Weston. You've got to, you've really got to be sensible, really, in this weather. So I know I just climb up these tracks. It's very the sun is very hot. I'm going to take my jumper off any minute now and have a drink of water. I just get up in the shade up there a little bit. Over and out.